I said in an earlier video that some stream bank erosion is a good thing. And behind me is a prime example of what I mean. Our streams need to recruit or to accu accumulate large woody debris. And the only way that's really going to happen is if we have deadfalls falling into the river via bank erosion. So you can look here and a lot of people, the fish are enjoying it and the dogs are enjoying it, but this is a nice pool. But for some reason, a lot of people see this in a trout and salmon stream and their first uh, response is, you know, what a mess and we have to clean it up. But in fact, if you want to improve the productivity of trout and salmon uh, in your watershed, these are the type of things that you need. And so an example, if we can just swing around and look behind me, is at the tail end of the pool, we had large woody debris accumulate as a result of stream bank erosion. And because we have a fully forested buffer zone on both sides, this isn't an issue. The erosion is controlled and above it, we have this gravel bar forming. And that's what narrows the channel. And it actually adds to depth. Like we walk back on the bank here and then high flow, this channel is quite deep. There's a future digger log. Another couple of years. You can see the ice has been hammering it, but that's all right. This tree is going to serve a great purpose once it hits the riverbed. <laughs> 